Thanks for the rich. Whoa. <laughs> we give thanks for the rich legacy of this center of learning, the result of the vision of time and talents of Benjamin Creever, John Long, Robert Rich, Frederick Wirtz, Robert Shangrall, and a multitude of others. We give thanks for the administration and staff who have worked tirelessly in the midst of a pandemic to make possible the continuation of learning. We give thanks for the faculty who, as teachers and learners, face new challenges to share their knowledge, working with their students in new ways. We give thanks for the students of the class of 2022, for their adjustments to change and their determination to reach the end of this stage of their journeys. We give thanks for the parents and grandparents, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, sisters and a multitude of others who have given inspiration and support to the men and women of this class. God of all, we recognize this day is an ending and a beginning. The time when knowledge gained in a quiet place apart comes face to face with reality in the noisy marketplaces of life. We ask your presence with us today. Help us to follow our dreams, remembering always that we are responsible for others as well as ourselves. Amen. You may be seated. I would like to present Mark Fultz, Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Good afternoon. I'm Mark Fultz, class of 80, which seems like yesterday, and current chairman of the Board of Trustees of Lycoming College. On behalf of your Board of Trustees, we extend a warm welcome to parents, families, friends, faculty, staff, and students. Also to our commencement speaker and honorary degree recipients, Dr. Brenda Alston Mills and Dr. Ratul Dalal, student speaker, Fela Guerin, and fellow platform guests. And last, but certainly not least, class of 2022. Today the spotlight shines on you. All of you graduates are the reason why we as trustees give of our time, effort, and financial support. While it was your hard work and dedication that got you here today, there are a host of others who deserve our thanks for making this day so meaningful. Your Lycoming faculty and staff, the outstanding buildings and grounds crew that create such a beautiful campus, my fellow dedicated trustees, parents, families who entrusted their students to this fine institution. And finally, I'm going to answer one of the questions that was posed by Luke Jordan during yesterday's baccalaureate service. That one question was, will we stay in touch with each other in the future? My answer from experience is without a doubt. I speak, text, or email my roommate on at least a monthly basis. And I can further assure you that you will grow fonder of your time at Lycoming with each passing year. And you always treasure the warm friendships that were made here. Best of luck, class of 2022. Good afternoon, class of 2022. We made it here. It 
It is my pleasure to join the chair of the Board of Trustees, Mark Fultz, in extending a warm welcome to all attending this 2022 commencement ceremony. At the outset of my remarks, I would like us all to remember Katie Mattingly, who many of you will recognize as a member of the class of 2022, but whom we lost tragically during her first year. So as we celebrate today, let us keep Katie in our thoughts. Her photo, a cap and gown grace an empty chair in the last row of graduates. Let's just take a moment to reflect for Katie. Thank you. On the surface, much about your class and your experiences at Lycoming College seem typical of most recent classes. 323 of you matriculated in the fall of 2018. Like your immediate predecessors, your class is highly diverse. 32% domestic students of color and more than 6% international students. Your geographic distribution is also typical. More than half of you are from Pennsylvania, but New Jersey, Maryland, New York, and Texas are also well represented, as well as 15 other states. A, record, a review of your record of contributions and leadership and successes is impressive, but also not atypical. For example, 12 graduating art majors displayed their final projects at the Lycoming College Art Gallery this spring. Students involved in the concert band, the jazz ensemble, the community orchestra, and the choirs performed in the CAC, in Clark Chapel, and outdoors. Film students showed their work in college-sponsored film festivals at the AMC Theater in downtown Williamsport. Theater students won recognition at the Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival, and I could go on. On the athletic front, the men's basketball team won two conference championships and appeared in the 2020 March NCAA Tournament. Seniors on the football team closed their careers with a win in the Max Centennial Bowl Series and an 8-3 record. The women's lacrosse team made it to the conference playoffs and won a first round game for the first time since 2017. The men's soccer team appeared in the NCAA Tournament in 2019. Swimmers set school records. We are proud of all these accomplishments and others, but they are not qualitatively different than the record of other outstanding graduating classes. We all know, however, that your journey was not normal. You experienced college under unparalleled adversity. Your four years at Lycoming College have been different than from any other class in the institution's 209-year history because, of course, the global pandemic disrupted five of your eight semesters. You remember your second year ended with remote learning. In the fall of 2020, we invited you to return to campus and resume residential education, and most of you seized that opportunity. At that time, there were no COVID vaccines, only basic treatments, N95 masks were not widely available, we were only beginning to understand COVID transmission, but you returned. You led the way and you demonstrated the depth of your passion for residential in-person learning. You returned again for your junior year when vaccines were still not available and an array of COVID protocols were still in place. You embraced virtual and hybrid and in-person and outdoor and tent options and invented things for your clubs and organizations. You returned again and once again demonstrated how much you value the Lycoming residential experience. During your senior year, you navigated Omicron and Delta surges and remained committed to following our protocols. You are graduating after experiencing more than two years of disruption of your learning experience. This pandemic, of course, brought massive challenges and uncertainties and lasted much longer than we anticipated. And you, the class of 2022, persisted in the face of the challenges posed by the virus. In so doing, you distinguished yourself from your class from all others who have preceded you. Your personal lives have been impacted. Some of you have lost friends and family members. Others have been unable to go home and see family for long periods of time. Campus activities have been curtailed or canceled. 
your intellectual journey was atypical. You had to learn to acquire knowledge and critical thinking skills under unfamiliar and stressful conditions. You adapted and persisted in earning your college degrees. You not only survived, but you thrived under these conditions, and we admire you. You committed to being socially responsible by protecting yourselves and others in our community. And this sense of uh, social responsibility informed your collective choices and actions and contributed significantly to bringing all of us together during the darkest days of the pandemic. Your care for the collective good has been exemplary. Your class has led in every component of campus life. During this semester when we made the decision to move to a more normal phase of college life, you paved the way for on-campus events by being imaginative, creative, and innovative. You have learned how to use your voices while here at Lycoming College. Some of you became forceful advocates for the opportunity to do musical and theater performances and sports competitions during the pandemic. You made the administration aware of your unwavering passion about the arts and athletics, about learning and about connecting with your peers and your voices were heard. You also used your voices to bring change to the campus community. You reinvigorated and led an in-person black women, women's empowerment workshop. You established the phenomenal women of color and a local chapter of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Student Senate advised and informed the administration on matters related to the pandemic and campus programming. Senate also created its own diversity, equity, and inclusion committee, and it organized Unity Day and Black and Gold Day. You have raised our community's awareness of issues surrounding diversity, race, equity, and inclusion. You have worked on behalf of sexual assault awareness. You have challenged all of us to do better, and your voices have been heard. In so many ways, you have used your voices, and your voices have been heard. You are a very special class, and Lycoming is a better place because you were here. Class of 22, 2022, the Board of Trustees, the administration, the faculty, and staff applaud you for having grit, for using your voices, for promoting change, for thinking deeply, and for truly acting boldly. And it will be my pleasure to shake each one of your hands in a few minutes. Thank you.
It is now my pleasure to introduce the student chosen to give the senior class greeting on behalf of the class of 2022. The selection of the student speaker begins with an invitation to faculty, students, and professional staff to submit nominations. A committee composed of members of the graduating class, faculty, and the vice president for student life makes the final choice from among the nominees. Fayla Guerin, First set eyes. Yeah, we can cheer for her. <laughs> Fela Guerin first set eyes on the Lycoming campus during the spring of her junior year in high school. Her all girls school partnered with other Baltimore area schools on a tour of central PA colleges. Lycoming was a memorable stop on this trip. Fela told me in a conversation that she was attracted to the diversity of the student body. A few months later, she and her mother returned to campus for a visit. You see, mom insisted that Fela could not commit until mom had seen where Fela was going. Before they left that day, though, Fela had and her mom had deposited, deposited, and the rest of the story has been a positive for both uh, Fela and Lycoming College. Fela is the first female African-American president of the Student Senate in the history. In the history of Lycoming College, she has broken a glass ceiling and paved the way for others. She has been a powerful and persuasive voice for the student body. When I asked her what she felt was her most important legacy, she said that she is most proud that she has enabled and challenged others to find their voices and become leaders. Fela is a corporate communications major with a minor in film and video arts. She is a sister of Gamma Delta Sigma and has served as the vice president for her sorority. She's been a tour guide, but most importantly, Fela is a leader who has empowered other is a leader who has empowered others to take leadership roles. Fela, I invite you to address your classmates, the faculty and our, and our assembled guests. Thank you, thank you. So, President Trochti, trustees, distinguished guests, family and friends, faculty, staff, and members of the Lycoming College community, and my fabulous fellow graduates, welcome. 
My name is Fela Guerin. I am from Baltimore, Maryland, and today I'm graduating from Lycoming College, where I majored in corporate communication and minored in film and video arts. I would like to acknowledge everyone who made it possible for me to stand here and give this speech. Thank you to the senior class speaker committee, Dean Miller, my family, my professors, my sorority, my beautiful Aunt Mana, and my beautiful parents, Mr. Fritz and Miss Fabian Guerin. It's crazy to think that in the span of four years, we are now college graduates. We have come so far in what feels like a short period of time. Our college journeys have shown us that after each and every challenge, we're left with new strength to help us along our way. We all remember what it was like to set foot on this campus for the first time, the anxiety and the nervousness that came with it. Since those first days, we have all changed. We have all changed our outlooks on life, on our hair, on relationships, on fashion style, and most importantly, our outlooks on each other. When we were little, we watched movies about college. And honestly, some of us were expecting our college experiences to be like those movies. How to sum up like home in college? A movie. You had to be there to experience everything we went through. We are a family. 10 years from now, when we will reminisce about our times here and laugh as we recall the stories. We choose to start a sequel called College here at Lycoming College. We had different acts that summed up our time here. Everyone says life is like a book, but ours was a movie. I now present the trailer of the Lycoming experience for the class of 2022. Act one. The movie began on August 24th in the year 2018, when we all came to Lycoming for our first weekend move-in. This was the beginning of a long movie. We didn't know anyone, nor did we know what was in store for us. We just knew that we were at the beginning of a new adventure. We opened our doors to new experiences and new people. We remember the first time we all took that picture in the gym bleachers together and remembered the feeling of unity. We bonded over the first weekend and look to the rest of the year as a family. There were disputes on who had the best dorm, Asbury or Skeef. Wesley didn't count because that was privileged. <laughs> we would spend nights in each other's room just talking about our lives and what we hoped for as seniors. We experienced our first coffee house parties, homecoming, late night breakfast, snowed until two, and the campus carnival. We really didn't have much direction but we just kept going forward. Act two, this act was nothing more than the climax of college. We all still talk about sophomore year because it was all gas and no breaks. This was the middle of the road for some of us where we made choices to further our lives. We would stay out late, get old school pizza just to talk and eat. We danced, laughed, and even cried together in our family class. Climax. This is when reality set in, and the reality's name was COVID. Who would have known that spring break would turn into a worldwide shutdown? This left us with no more sophomore year and no more family activities. We stayed home and quarantined with our families. We didn't know what would happen. We just knew classes were online. We had to acquire the knowledge on what this new shift in our journey was gonna to do to us. Act three, in comes our junior year, when we come back to a new normal that we have never seen or experienced. No more social gatherings and no more fun for our class. In the roughness of times, this brought us closer as a family. When we were a family, when we celebrated championships together, academic success together, and when we celebrated the history-making first African-American -Afri woman elected Lycoming College Student Senate President, that's me. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Thank you. Act four. This is the final act. These are the last memories we'll make on the Lycoming College campus as students. We saw each other through our roughest moments. We saw each other's dreams materialize, whether it was getting into graduate school or landing a corporate job. We shared laughs and reminisced on our freshman days and looked back on all the memories we had made. Never forget the early morning coffee talks at 1812. We spent this week together for the last time as seniors, and boy, was it a movie. The closing act is right here and right now. We are closing our movie, writing the credits, and leaving the sequel of our life behind. We never forget it, but we will always remember it. This was the best movie we've ever experienced because we were a family through it all. Remember that this is your family and we are never too far away if you need something. Class of 2022, I present our movie and in this new trailer, I challenge you to make the next scenes of your life memorable, actionable, and valuable. Make your next movie worth watching and living. Become the director of your movie and not the actors or the audience. Show yourself on your stage and take your own spotlight. Remember that your family is here to support you and love you through your movie. Class of 2022, this is not a goodbye to the movie we have created, but hello to our next script in the making. Congratulations, graduates. Good afternoon. Dr. Ratul J. Dela joined the medical staff at UPMC North Central Region, Pennsylvania in 2013. And he currently serves as Chair of Infection Prevention and Control and Program Director of Infectious Diseases. He is also on the medical staff faculty and the Family Medicine Residency Program, where he has chaired multiple task forces. In addition, Dr. Dalal spent two years as an associate professor of medicine at the Commonwealth Medical College. He is currently president-elect of the medical staff at UPMC Williamsport. A native of India, Dr. Dalal attended medical school at the Maharashtra Institute of Medical Education and Research in Pune, India, and received his degree in 2005. In 2007, he was certified to practice in the United States by the Educational Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates. In 2011, he became board certified in internal medicine, and in 2013, he achieved board certification in infectious diseases. He also holds a certificate in healthcare administration from King's College. Dr. Dalal's excellence as a physician has been recognized by various professional organizations. In addition, he has published research on risk factors and outcomes in HIV patients, and lectured and presented on various infectious diseases in multiple professional settings. Dr. Dalal's experience with pandemic care and prevention dates to 2005 when he was recognized as the best intern for participation in the control of the dengue epidemic in India. He was also a member of the local unit of the National AIDS Control Organization in Pune, India, and Dr. Dalal was involved in local Ebola preparedness in 2014 and 2015 and has served as infectious disease consultant to Little League International since 2015. Since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020, Dr. Dalal has led UPMC's efforts to diagnose, treat, and prevent this deadly virus. As our region endured three COVID surges, he worked tirelessly to coordinate care and directly to treat thousands of patients. In addition, Dr. Dalal chaired the UPMC COVID-19 Containment Task Force and was the spokesperson for media outlets, schools, and local governments. Finally, as Lycoming College and other organizations in the region developed and executed our COVID-19 plans, he provided invaluable expertise, advice, 
and counsel. Thank you. Dr. Ratul Dalal, recognizing your excellence as a physician and the extraordinary service you have rendered to the citizens of North Central Pennsylvania during the COVID-19 pandemic, Lycoming College conveys the honorary degree Doctor of Science Honoris Causa with all the rights, honors, and privileges thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. Born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Dr. Brenda Alston Mills graduated from the Philadelphia High School for Girls. Her search for a small college where she could stand out led to Lycoming College where she earned a Bachelor of Science in Biology with minors in Chemistry and French in 1966. After graduating from Lycoming, Dr. Alston Mills was awarded a teaching fellowship in biology at historically black Claflin College in Orangeburg, South Carolina. She then enrolled in graduate study at Michigan State University and completed both a Master of Science and a PhD in Zoology with a major emphasis in physiology. From 1984 to 1990, Dr. Alston Mills was an associate professor in the Animal Sciences Department at the University of Maryland, where she won the Alumni Excellence in Teaching Award. She then served as an associate professor in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences at North Carolina State University from 1990 to 2002, where she received an Outstanding Faculty Advisor Award and was named to NC State's Academy of Outstanding Teachers. After a visiting year at the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine, Dr. Alston Mills returned to Michigan State in 2004 to assume a position as Professor of Animal Science. In 2008, Dr. Alston Mills was appointed as Associate Dean and Director for the Office of Diversity and Pluralism in the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources at Michigan State. In this position, she worked with graduate students, faculty, and staff in the college to improve workplace climate, enhance professional development opportunities, and increase the pool of underserved populations in graduate education. During her career, she taught many courses advised countless undergraduate students, and chaired many graduate student committees. Her research centered around milk as a biological fluid, which ultimately became the foundation for her breast cancer research focused on biology of mammary glands. As a result of her work, Dr. Alston Mills has published numerous studies in scholarly journals and edited books. Since 1989, Dr. Alston Mills has both served and been recognized by Lycoming College. Most recently, from 2002 to 2020, she sat on the college's board of trustees. In 2020, she was named an emerita trustee. Dr. Brenda Alston Mills, in recognition of your distinguished, extensive, and inspiring contributions to higher learning as a faculty member, student advisor, researcher, administrator, trustee, and advocate, Lycoming College is honored to confer upon you, Brenda Alston Mills, the degree Doctor of Laws, honoris causa, with all the rights, privilege, honors, and privileges thereunto appertaining. I invite you now, uh, Brenda, to deliver the commencement address to the class of 2022. President Trotke, Board of Trustees, platform guests, incredible faculty and staff who went above and beyond in performing their responsibilities during these past 
few years as a result of a paralyzing epidemic. Parents and guests who have supported these young people, we are here to pay tribute to a very deserving graduating class of 2022 with highest praise for their endurance, perseverance through difficult and challenging times in this history. Congratulations to all of you. When I was asked to do this, I was almost speechless. There are many of you who know me and to render me speechless is kind of quite a feat. Not an easy task. But the nicest part was the fact that I am and was very, very humbled and honored to deliver the address for this commencement ceremony at my alma mater. Academia, in some form, has been the major part of my career. Students have taught me as much as I have taught them, albeit very different things. The aim was to be able to hear them, to be able to provide them a space to have their hopes, their dreams, and their, their concerns heard. Many of my students, rightly or wrongly, have told me how much they have appreciated my guidance as a professor, both in the classroom and or in the laboratory. These conversations have often occurred around their time of graduation. My mantra has always been to encourage them to take my guidance and to pass it forwards. But then I ask myself, what exactly does that phrase mean? We hear it a lot, pass it forward. If I were a football player, passing it forward, maybe to pass the ball into the hands of the opposing team, not so good. In basketball, sometimes a lateral or even backward pass is the better option. Context is everything. Either way, when there is a snag in the pass, things can go very, very wrong. Then what? Now what? Breathe. Breathe deeply and assess. For the first assessment, I have found a few pertinent questions to help put perspective on the problem. Is this my fault? That's a big one. Can I control it? The most critical, however, is, is it life-threatening? The answers to these questions help with direction. It may be time to regroup, to rethink the game plan. A second critical assessment is what went right with the process and where did it go wrong? Very often, it is easy to focus on the wrong. In a laboratory setting, one takes time to examine the protocol when the experiment doesn't work. In a workplace, for example, if a young apprentice comes to work for, at a cottage cheese factory or plant, my husband corrected me on that, at the end of the day, if there is anything other than cheese, there are questions from the management. The manager says, okay, let's go over this. Let's see what you did in detail. Did you separate the milk to get skim milk? Check. Did you add the starter culture? And the apprentice looks up and says, oops, was that important? The young apprentice, <laughs> an even better example, is baking a cake from scratch. I'm not sure how many of you still do this, but I do. Creaming the butter or margarine, margarine blending in the sugar, adding the eggs carefully one at a time, mixing the flour with the baking powder as the recipe calls for. For the baker who does not know the difference between baking powder and baking soda, he or she might grab the baking soda. These are two very, very different compounds. One is edible, gives edible results. The other, again, not so much. 
often a lot of time is spent re-examining and rehashing the problematic result of what went wrong. Again, that is easy. We take great pleasure in rehashing the problem without capitalizing on what went right. So now we have focused on that past in a positive direction, which may not be necessarily the forward direction. So you look at it again and say, okay, what do I need to do and who else might I call upon for input? At this point, I will outline three important take-home lessons. Lesson one, evaluate and assess the positive. The positive provides the energy and the incentive to fix what is not working. If help is needed to move that pass in a positive direction, do not be afraid to ask for it. When you and I, although several years in between, arrived at Lycoming College, most of us already had people, experiences, and things in our toolkits. As we traveled through our time in the college, we gathered more provisions. Now I will depersonalize this a bit and take myself out of the equation to prepare you for lesson two. Assess your toolkit. What have you learned from direct experience? What have you gleaned from observation? What have you gotten from active and passive listening? Who are the people in your life? Your family circles, your religious circles, your early education experiences. How have the numbers and quality of those circles changed? Did those circles expand or did they deflate as a result of your experiences here at Lycoming College? Where are you now? Who are you now? At this point, moving on in your journey, be aware and careful of the category trap. The identifiers on applications of all types that ask for name, gender, ethnic identification, race, these will come up again and again, although times are getting better. The purpose of the identifier exercises is that we can all be placed in classification boxes, which are for the convenience of others. Keep the perspective. We are in many boxes, given a time and a place where we work, where we socialize. We can both be powerful and subordinate all in the same day. As a result, re-examining the model, I changed the paradigm. Instead of telling students just to pass it forward, I submit to you, as I had to do, pass the knowledge forward to others as long as forward is positive. However, and equally important, don't forget to look back so that you can see the footsteps that you followed in your education and the shoulders that carried you. Remember the people who passed it forward to you and for you with money, prayers, love, and encouragement. Reflect on who may be following in your footsteps, whether it's a young sibling, whether it's a cousin, whether it's just a good friend. Recognize what others have brought to you and continue to bring to you as they follow you. At the same time, be prepared to carry them on your shoulders, temporarily if needed, and then happily let them go forward with strength beyond your guidance. They too have learned and will learn from your gifts. They will carry those gifts with them as you have carried the gifts given to you. Send them forward with knowledge, curiosity, the hopes and the dreams that you have received from Lycoming College. Share your trials, share your tribulations if necessary, but most of all, share your joy. You are prepared for your path as you will prepare others 
and a path for others. Relish your complexity and your uniqueness and appreciate the uniqueness of others. In the words of Margaret Mead on her quotes about culture, if we are to achieve a richer culture, rich in contrasting values, we must recognize the whole gamut of human potentialities and so weave a less arbitrary social fa fabric, one in which each diverse human gift will find a fitting place." End of quote. Final lesson, step up and step out. I appreciate the honor of addressing this very, very special class of 2022. Forever forward, as long as it is positive, not by the energy of idle motion, but by the energy of action. Now, especially now, in a world of turmoil and often loss of hope. The world needs you. The world needs you. Thank you. I am pleased to announce the recipients of the Edward J. Gray Prize for the highest grade point average in the senior class. And this year we have two, Riley Abigail Delaney and Kiera Elizabeth Vinson. Please stand and be recognized. The recipient of the Edward J. Gray Prize for the second highest grade point average in the senior class is Amy A. Cushlin. Please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I have the privilege to present those students who will graduate with honors. Will those students who will graduate summa cum laude with highest distinction please stand? This recognition is reserved for those students who have earned a grade point average of 3.9 to 4.0. As I read your names, please remain standing. Got to keep standing here until <laughs> President Trochte has recognized you. We ask that the audience please hold your applause until all names have been called, and then President Trochte will recognize them. Riley Abigail Delaney, Joanne M. Groskoff, Maxwell Timothy Hansen, Luke W. Jordan, Amy A. Cushlin, Emma Louise Lair, Alexandra Marchesani, Shohini Mukherjee, Megan Suzanne Nichman, Jessica Reardon, Kiera Elizabeth Vinson, Allison Catherine Wagner, and Hannah Ehab Youssef. In, in recognition of your superlative academic achievements, Lycoming College will award your degrees with highest distinction. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will those students who will graduate magna cum laude with high distinction please stand? This recognition is reserved for those students who have earned a grade point average of 3.7 to 3.89. Please see your commencement program for the full listing of the magna cum laude graduates. In recognition of your superior academic achievements, Lycoming College will award your degrees with high distinction. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will those students who will graduate cum laude with distinction please stand? This recognition is reserved for those students who have earned a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.69. Please see your commencement program for the full listing of cum laude graduates. In recognition of your excellent academic achievements, Lycoming College will award your degrees with distinction. Congratulations.
You may be seated. Will those who will graduate with departmental honors please stand? Graduates cited for departmental honors have received the highest distinction that can be bestowed by an academic department. Departmental honors are reserved for those who have excelled in their chosen fields of study. In recognition of the excellence that you have achieved in your major field of study, Lycoming College will award your degrees with departmental honors. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will those who will graduate as Institute for Management Studies scholars please stand? Graduates cited as Institute for Management Studies scholars are those who have completed a major or minor in business management, accounting, or economics. They have earned an overall GPA of 3.25 or higher and have completed a program of special seminars and an internship. In recognition of your accomplishments, I am pleased to confer upon you the status Institute for Management Studies Scholar. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will those who will graduate as Lycoming Scholars please stand? Graduates cited as Lycoming Scholars are those who have completed a special program of interdisciplinary seminars, an independent study culminating in a senior project, and have earned an overall GPA of 3.25 or higher. In recognition of your accomplishments, I am pleased to confer upon you the status of Lycoming Scholar. Congratulations. Will the faculty and trustees present please stand? Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I have the honor of presenting to you the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts. All candidates who have satisfactorily completed this course of study or will complete it by the end of the summer are recommended for the Bachelor of Arts degree by the faculty of the college. Will those who are graduating with the Bachelor of Arts degree please stand? By the authority, by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and by the Board of Trustees of Lycoming College, I hereby confer upon those of you who have satisfactorily completed your degree requirements the degree Bachelor of Arts with all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. Students, you may be seated. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I have the honor of presenting to you the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science. All candidates who have satisfactorily completed this course of study or will complete it by the end of the summer are recommended for the Bachelor of Science degree by the faculty of the college. Will those who are graduating with Bachelor of Science degrees please stand? By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and by the Board of Trustees of Lycoming College, I hereby confer upon those of you who have satisfactorily completed your re degree requirements the degree Bachelor of Science with all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. Students, faculty, and trustees, you may now be seated. Now, I will read the names of all the graduates as they come to the stage to receive their diplomas. President Trakti will present the degrees, and joining him in congratulating the graduates is Board Chair Mark Fultz and Alumni Association Executive Board President Brad Webb.
Okay, I'm now going to be begin with the Bachelor of Arts degrees recipients. First up, Jasmine Carolina Aguilar. Ulisa Aguilar. Karen Daisy Aguilar. Hernandez Alphonse. Lillian Anthony. Christian James Arand. Walter Enrique Avila. McKenna Lauren Bear. Jalen Bailey. Bradley A. Beaver. Dana Marie Bites. Samuel David Benamati. Taylor Lee Bennett. Kaylee E. Betts. Medavi Bunjan. Shruti Davi Banjan. Cora Lee Black. Alicia Ann Blizzard. Kirsten Marie Block. Erica Corey Boyer. Abigail Marie Bracken. Samir Brisbane. Yeah. 
Samantha Brianna Brock. Lauren Diane Canfield. Kevin Carpenter. Marcus Chambers. Ian Elliott Chapman. Jason N. Chappelle. Marshall Alexander Charles. Hannah Cheres. Kira Lynn Christian. Morgan Elizabeth Christine. Ian Robert Cody. Kaylee Abigail Coelho. Brett Thomas Corby. Chase Kramer. Robert Ian Cranmer. Tiana Crawford. Anthony Deshaun Cunningham. Megan Arlene Daly. Diana Magali Davila. Skylin Marie Dietrich. Zachary Long Donaway. Lucas Robert Drick.
Lalitha Durlin. Sarah Ann Edinger. Percival Tanix Entz. Andrew M. Everett's. Ruth T. T. Farcali. Allison Catherine Feinstein. Jasmine Madison Felder. Well sustained, folks, well sustained. Marquita Crisanu Felder. <laughs> Kaliana Danielle Ferguson. Jacob Paul Fimbres. Abby N. Fiore. Heather Michelle Flatley. Tyler Andrew Flood. <laughs> Philip E. Freeland, Jr. Jia Yong Fu Matthew Robert Galasso Hannah K. Gallagher Tyler J. Gallagher. <laughs> Stephanie Garcia. Brandon M. Gates. Alyssa Audrey Gravel. Christopher Joseph Greco.
Cody S. Greenaway. Joanne M. Groskoff. <laughs> Fela Anaya Marie Guerin. V. He. <laughs> Casey Daniel Hawes. <laughs> Maxwell Timothy Hansen. Kiera Monique Hatton. Reggie Herrera. Allison Olivia Hoover. Abigail Page Hurst. <laughs> Rachel Horvath. <laughs> Luke Stephen Huzik. Ethan Casement Ilkert. Matthew I. Illadigwe. Ashley Clyburn Inerarity. Shania Imani Jackman. Andre L. Jackson, Jr. Taylor T. Jackson. Jordan Jeffrey Jason. <laughs> Tian Xian Jian. Sharice D. Johnson. Brock Andrew Jones. Devin Kaiser.
Mitchell Tyrone Kelly. Morgan Shanae Kerstetter. Olivia Gail Killinger. Amanda R. Kilps. Caitlin Elizabeth Rose Kinley. Morgan Elizabeth Klosko. Caitlin M. Knox. Kevin Anthony Kraftchik. Lauren May Leidecker. Michael Anthony Lancelotti. Alexander Maximus Lobsher. Trey T. Leach. Emma Louise Lair. Jaden Louise Lehow. Bronwyn Page Lewis. Umaya Fonwada Leonaga. <laughs> Hannah Jean Lounsbury. Carly Nicole Love. Liliana Lundy. Austin Shane Lyons. John Robert Marble. Alexandra Marchesani.
Dominic J. Macero. Alicia Danielle McElwee. Lauren Nicole McNamara. Cheyenne Audrey Meckes. Anthony Francis Merle. Yeah. Shingya Miao. Chad Stephen Miller. Leslie Yvette Molina Rodriguez. Myra Carolina Moreno. Amani Muhammad. Nicholas Anthony Musto. Brent P. Newton. Ethan Joshua Newton. Ha Ein Win. Joel Peter Noble. Michael B. Antifo. Sarah Marie Nyquist. Rosa Ortega Chacon. Megan Ann Euler. Diego Payares Aceves. Deepshika Parpu. Caitlin Marie Parks. Amanda Dorothy Pasiglia. Yeah. 
Francesca Marie Patetta. Amina Patterson. Samuel J. Pittsman. Shana Emily Reagan. William Troy Reich. Casey Diane Wrights. Darren Anthony Rich. Jessica Reardon. Valeria Renee Rivera. Quantrell Maurice Rogers. Mariah A. Rovenault. Anshara Adabia Saib. Yesenia Sanchez. Michael Joseph Scarponi. Elijah D. Shimori. Joshua Allen Shermeyer. Ian Richard Shoemaker. Daniel Griffin Shoup. Marcus T. Sidwell. Romana Sokichan. Devon Stevenson. Austin Parker Stipkak. Megan Louise Strausner. <laughs> Laurel G. Strauss. Kamari Shahada Terrell.
Catherine Tomasula. Tomasula, excuse me. Alexis Tung. A seal torque. <laughs> Michael John Turk. <laughs> Janelle Nora Valentino. Kidani Eddie Vega Cosme. Gabriela Tiana Villar. Kiera Elizabeth Vinson. Kristen J. Wachter. Kaylee Nicole Wade. Brandon Robert Waden. Allison Catherine Wagner. <laughs> Junai Asmara Walker. Kelsey Walters. Rebecca Marie Weller. Malik Isaiah Wortman. Katie Lynn Wheeler. Colin Robert Weand. Mia Williams. Tejan Jamison Willis. Ashlyn V. Wool. Ranaja Unique Wiley. Darren Wade Young. Anna Ehab Yusuf. (laughs) 
Stephen Walter Zakreski. Joshua Zingrebi. That's all of our Bachelor of Arts. And the rest of these are Bachelor of Science. Courtney May Honert. Yasemin Elmasari. Shania Apadu. Rory Bass Forsman. Kaya Monet Bell. Jacob Alexander Booth. Julia Danielle Boyle. Brianna May Britt. Samuel Joseph Broadwell. Chase Logan Byerly. Megan May Chamberlain. Juan Gerardo Davila Jr. Riley Abigail Delaney. Nasir Denham. Jadriana Reese Ferreira. Isabella Faith Gockenbach. Salami H. Hailu. Zadi Aide Hernandez. Tamara Joel Hess. Elin Maria Johansson. Brianna K. Johnson. Luke W. Jordan.
Athena Kathleen Kazmerchek. Angeline Elizabeth King. Amy A. Kushlin. Shohini Mukherjee. Arthur Pasquale Ganu Yimi. <laughs> Megan Suzanne Nichman. Vish Ram. Charles J. Shalasi. Anakala Deborah Simon. Jenna N. Tasker. Matthew Michael Velarde. August Lily Wampole. Nathan James Wolf. That's it, and I think we beat the rain. That's Microphone, thank you. All right, so you're the first class both to have fireworks and confetti during your senior year. Uh, graduates, would you please stand? And the first thing I want you to do is to search out members of your family, friends who have supported you, and would you please applaud, don't walk away, just turn and applaud them, please, and thank them. And now, graduates, you may move your tassels. And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2022, Lake Owen College. Would everyone please remain standing while the choir sings the benediction 
and then the alma mater is played. And then I, we would ask that you stay in your place until the platform party, trustees, and faculty have departed. And then you may begin your celebration. Thank you. Thank you. 